so so now i will explain the total complete overview of collection framework so in the last sessions we covered what is a list what is set what is the queue and a map sorted map like there are several interfaces and the corresponding implementation classes we covered but now let me summarize all these things into a single diagram so that you people are going to remember well so you people are going to get much clarity right okay this is so first if you want to represent a group of individual objects as a single entity then we should go for collection collection interface right if you want to represent a group of individual objects as a single entity then we should go for collection in this group of individual objects i want to duplicates duplicates are allowed and the insertion order must be preserved in which order we saved in the same order only the object should be saved internally in which order we inserted in the same order only the object should be inserted internally okay duplicates are allowed insertion order must be preserved then we should go for list interface right then we should go for list list interface right okay this is now the implementation classes for the list interface array list okay linked list next the vector and the stack vector and the stack so list the implementation classes for array for list interface are array list linked list vector and the stack so this group represent a group of individual objects where duplicates are allowed and the insertion order must be preserved okay this is next sometimes i don't want duplicates i don't want duplicates and i don't want insertion order order is not important for me duplicates also not required duplicates also not allowed then we should go for next level set interface right set set interface very important question for the entire room of course i covered in the last session what is the difference between list and set in the list duplicates are allowed or not allowed allowed but in the set duplicates are not allowed in the list insertion order preserved but in the set insertion order not preserved then what are various implementation classes for the set so first implementation class hash set second one linked hash set linked linked hash set hash set linked hash set right okay this is next term without to duplicates i don't want duplicates but all object should be inserted according to some sorting order all object should be inserted according to some sorting order then we should go for sorted set interface then we should go for sorted set interface right so if you don't want duplicates but all object should be inserted according to some sorting order then we should go for sorted set next term navigation support also i want so navigation what is the previous element what is the next element like navigation support if i want then we should go for navigable set interface navigable set interface right now the implementation class if you want tree set is the implementation class for this are you getting right okay this is a tree set itself is the implementation class for the this navigable set or sorted set yeah interfaces right so if you want duplicates if you want insertion order then we should go for list if you don't want duplicates and the order is not important then we should go for set if we don't want duplicates but sorting order is required then we should go for sorted set and its implementation class is the tree set now the first two things are clear next prior to processing before processing if you want to represent a group of objects individual objects as a single entity then we should go for q q interface right then we should go for q q interface right best example before sending sms message 
all mobile number psych out store somewhere or before sending mail all mail id psych out store somewhere so before processing if you want to represent a group of individual objects prior to processing if you want to represent a group of individual objects then we should go for which concept q concept right what are various implementation classes for that priority queue priority queue next one blocking queue blocking queue for the blocking queue priority blocking queue linked blocking queue dot 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 priority so priority queue blocking queue blocking queue priority blocking queue linked blocking queue right okay like there are several some more implementation classes are there for the queue that's all these things talks about a group of individual objects are you getting right so collection list set queue interface these are implementation classes for that okay this here. now sometimes my requirement is i want to represent a group of objects as key value pairs are you getting i don't want to represent individual objects i want to represent a group of objects as key value key value pairs then we should go for map interface right then we should go for map map interface right so if you assume collection framework is a cinema first of talks about individual objects which is nothing but collection second of talks about group of key value pairs key value pairs then we should go for which concept map concept right okay this is now for the map what are various implementation classes so the first implementation class is hash map the first implementation class hash map next the uh, linked hash map linked hash map hash map linked hash map next the uh, weak hash map weak weak hash map weak hash map next the uh, identity hash map weak hash map identity hash map okay these are various implementation classes for the map but sometimes i want to represent a group of key value pairs according to some sorting order of keys can you please arrange all student roll numbers and names according to ascending order of roll numbers or according to alphabetical order of names if you want to represent a group of key value pairs according to some sorting order of key keys then we should go for sorted map interface right then we should go for sorted map interface next up so when we should go for sorted map if you want to represent a group of key value pairs where all key value pairs are stored according to some sorting order of keys then we should go for sorted set next up if you want navigation support for that then automatically we can go for navigable map we can go for navigable map implementation class if you want then we can go for tree map implementation class if you want then we should go for tree map right okay this one. if you want world legacy legacy means world world map objects then we should go for hash table ana hash table t the smaller capital hash table t the smaller capital make sure it should be small by mistake if you are using capital t compile time error saying there is no such type of terminology right hash table and child class is nothing but properties okay now for this hash table is the child of dictionary hash table is the child of dictionary okay this is so if you want a group of individual objects better to go for collection if you want to represent a group of key value pairs then we should go for map concept right now in which version these things came sir in which version of java these things came into the picture if you want collection came in 1.2 version list came in 1.2 array list 1.2 linked list 1.2 vector and stack classes came in which version 1.0 version 
that's why these things are by default considered as legacy classes have you remembered vector and stack classes are legacy because these things came from which version onwards 1.0 version the things which are coming from old generation these are things are by default considered as legacy classes right next up set concept came 1.2 hash set came 1.2 linked hash set came 1.4 version right linked hash set came 1.4 sorted set 1.2 version navigable set 1.6 version tree set 1.2 version next up this total q concept came into the picture in the 1.5 version of java q q concept of course in the next version some more enhancements are there but this q concept basically came in which version is 1.5 version right next up hash map so here map came 1.2 hash map 1.2 linked hash map 1.4 1.2 identity hash map 1.4 version next uh, sorted map 1.2 1.6 1.2 1 this total concept came into 1.0 version that's why these things are also known as legacy classes these are also known as legacy legacy classes right are you getting so in which version the terminology came into the picture next up here there are two areas where we are talking about sorting have you observed if you consider total collection framework there are two areas where we are talking about sorting one area sorted set another area sorted map okay this is if you want default natural sorting order and sorting sorting if you want default natural sorting order then we should go for comparable interface then we should go for comparable comparable interface if you want customized sorting i want to implement my own sorting then we should go for comparator interface then we should go for comparator interface so it is a very clear what is what is the difference between comparable comparator very important question for the interview room so one line answer for the interview person you should tell comparable meant up for default natural sorting order comparator meant up for customized sorting order right okay this is next uh, collection is a group of individual objects i want to get uh, these objects one by one one by one from the collection i want to get objects one by one one by one then cursor's concept is required cursor sir cursor's concept how many cursors are there in java the first one enumeration enumeration the second one iterator enumeration iterator third one list iterator third one list list iterator okay enumeration iterator list iterator these are the three cursors which can be used to get objects one by one one by one from the collection next there are two utility classes are there in the collection framework two utility classes two utility classes are there in the collection framework the first utility class is collections are you getting first utility class collections in the last class somewhere i explained what is the difference between collection and collections it is an utility class to define several utility methods for collection objects right now the second one okay this is now the second arrays arrays is a class to define several utility methods for array objects right suppose i want to perform i want to implement sorting for array arrays class contain sort method for that i want to perform searching inside array arrays class contain binary search method for that like arrays class define several utility methods for array objects collections class define several utility methods for collection objects right that's all so this is a simple overview of the collection so in the interview room if interview person is asking so do you know collections concept or what you know in collections 
can you please write on the paper like then automatically draw this diagram i'm sure you won't ask any other question from this area because you should aware each and every difference what is the difference between list and set what is the difference between array list and vector what is the difference between hash set and the hash map or what is the difference between hash map and a hash table or what is the difference between comparable comparator or enumeration iterator so anything anything from this we should be in a position to explain so then interview person won't ask any other question from this area right i'm sure so this is that's why if interview person is going to ask do you know collections concept then you should use the term and the collection king king in that area like so you people should aware each and every point right just the, the terminology i'm keeping but slowly we are going to dig each and everything right okay this is that's all